from me looking at my eyes, girl, you know what's in me uh, uh, uh. Jingle bring the beat alive every time, you know uh, uh, uh. From me looking at my eyes, girl, you know what's in me uh, uh. Jingle bring the beat alive every time, you know, girl, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I would do a weekly vlog because it's been forever and I really need to get back into it. So yeah, it's been about like four or five days that I've started hitting the gym again and it feels so good. I'm gonna head karma, have a quick breakfast, shower up, and get ready for my day. Hey, how sick is Babuko braiding skills? He braided this. He's so good. It is such a beautiful sunny day. I think that's honestly what motivated me to um, vlog because the past couple of days in Kathmandu has been so gloomy and rainy and just depressing, honestly. I thought I would, I would go to the gym looking all cute, but that was a fail. How do people vlog in the car? Okay, that's cute. Ish. It's not that anyone cares, but I lost my AirPods. I remember using them. It was Bangkok Ma on our honeymoon. And ever since then, I haven't been able to find it. Comment down below if you guys are like this, but if I have a Naya Saman, like a Naya, Naya item of makeup, clothing, electronics, whatever it is. Surumate, like the first month, I'm like, oh my god, my precious baby. Like nobody touch, nobody look. I have to put it in like a little purse. But then after that, not even one month, I'm giving myself too much credit. And after that, it's like, I'm like treated like trash, but it's bani. Like my mom is the opposite. My sister is the opposite. Um, they really know how to take care of their stuff. Oh my god, that guy was looking at me the whole time. There was an old man parked next to me and he was just staring at me. God, that's so creepy. Creepy, but anyway, um, you guys, I don't have a tripod, and my phone is clearly not gonna stay put. So, oh, I just got home. Whoa, there's an address. I don't want my address out for the public to know. I'm not saying that I'm such a celebrity and people are gonna come stalk me. It's not that. It's just that I watch too much true crime to know what happens if you show too much about your address and your location. Anyway, oh, it's hot. Oh my god, it's such a nice day. But when the sun is out. Ooh, I get Kali so fast. I think it's because I took um, that medication. What is it called again? I forgot what the OCD is called, but it's for literally to get rid of your acne. Like Pokhra Zanahiri, we went on a boat. I covered myself, but like Sai Birsuki, covered God, like Katulatio. Awkward tan line. Literally stayed for two years. I swear to God. Ali Bakkar, like Balla Gayo. Just a little update to tell you guys where I'm at. A lot has been going on. Obviously, I've been married for six months. Garn and I are at that phase where we're still trying to figure out what we want to do in life which is crazy you guys might be thinking like oh, aren't you guys settled already but i don't think that life is that simple and i don't think that it should be in city like change and progressing and moving forward is always a good thing when still in the same place where you're at then life gets dull and boring you know if you guys remember i was hitting the gym every single day six days a week with a trainer and that was so good i was really disciplined i had somebody to hold me accountable with my trainer but honeymoon i have not been active at all like here and there like the walking guard a little bit on the treadmill but like they'll grow with joe workouts but honestly i was not sticking to it and i was eating really bad i was not even eating junk food and not even by the kudidi kalpanadi makes the best food ever so i never want to go out to eat it was just that i was eating excessively constantly snacking like around three four i think this is like pretty common common for a lot of people to start snacking around like kind of like chat and something is fine but i would have like a whole ass meal okay so i'm having like four meals a day worst thing that you can do is eat right before going to bed that's what sumo wrestlers do apparently bulk up they eat whatever kind of bath probably and go to sleep right after because that's what you want to do to gain weight um so i was doing that training to be a sumo wrestler um but anyway i just felt like crap and it wasn't just my physical appearance it's not like of course i can tell that i've gained a little weight on like mentally i was feeling like shit like really really bad it's been a week since i started training uh by myself no trainer i just don't want to spend paisa on a trainer right now show myself that i can do it equally because trainer hire got yeah like they, they'll push you to be at the gym to show up at the gym but but this time around i want to be able to do it on my own you know if that makes any sense anyway that was my little Little ooh, my husband's home. Cashew, what the hell are you, you gonna doing? miss me? Yes, but my new headphones. So sick. You've been lying about Jay Kennedy. Went back home, made a smoothie. This one had kale and mangoes in it. It was super delicious. Now, I know I look a little bit psychotic walking around in my room like this, but I am just trying to touch my 10k steps, okay? Even if it's 10 minutes before bed, I will do it.
Okay, it is Thursday morning. The next day, it is super rainy and cloudy. I almost skipped today going to the gym, but I was like, come on, I can't do that. Then I started working out again. Always make it a point to dress up cute so I work out better. I've said this before in my vlogs also. It really makes a difference. If you're looking at yourself in the mirror to check on your form. Then you look at yourself and you look at your outfit. You're like, ooh, I look good. I got my new Sony headphones. If you guys are curious, these are the Sony uh, MX4s. These were th about $300. Um, please don't mind the mess in the background. Oh my god, it's about to fall off. Also, are any of you guys like uh, worried or triggered when you hear an airplane? Ever since the fly Dubai go flight go engine park or whatever, it was crazy because me and Babu actually heard it. I was watching Transformers, so it's super loud. But Tepani, I heard it. I paused the TV, looked out the window. There was nothing happening. So Card and I went up on the roof to see, you know, what what that was all about, and we saw the airplane. Like really terrified to even fly domestic recently. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but. Hopefully it doesn't last. Just got to the gym, parked my car. I always get so happy when I find a corner parking so I don't have to leave my keys in the bowl. I'm just sitting in the car. I don't know why I like to take a couple of seconds in the car, uh, take a sip of water and then go to the gym. Okay, just got back home. I was so hungry. I couldn't even think, look or talk to anybody. I just ate. It's such bad weather, guys. Like, I don't want to dress up or like be in anything other than PJs. This PJ set is so cute. It's new. Um, this brand called Kalida, I'll link them below, sent me some PR. And then I also got a pair of watermelon print, which I thought is really cute. I got a size large just so it could be loose and comfortable, not constraining at all. If you guys want cute PJ sets like this, you should definitely check them out. Scoop. Get it? Do it again. Scoop, turn, up, down, scoop. I'll forget this. Not conventional. Came out in Bebu's hoodie and still in my pajamas. Went to pick up some local Johan Momo from this place called... Actually, I don't even know what it's called, but it's across Labin Mall. And this weather just calls for Johan Momo, you know what I'm saying? Don't murder me in the comment section, but I am a huge fan of Momo with ketchup. I know, I know, that's a crime for some people. But I just love ketchup with Momo. Okay, I know I said I wasn't gonna do anything. I was just gonna cuddle up in bed and eat momos. Well, I did the momo part. and convinced Bebu to go to Reebok and Adidas with me here in Kumari Pati. But because shout out. No, I didn't. Shout out to Akriti. She's the one that let me know that Reebok is having a huge sale and they have a bunch of selection on sports bras. And that's exactly what I need. Are you excited to go shopping? Yes, I need tank tops to show off my muscles. Are you gonna spend all your money on me? Uh, What's the budget? Let's go back and get your card. <laughs> Ew, why is my laugh like that? <laughs> oh my god, the city is covered with these beautiful um, flowers, purple flowers. I forget what it's called. I think it's Jacker, Jacaranda. Here we are. I think there's an Adidas. Oh, there it's right here. Oh my god, we found par parking. Yeah. Honestly, so surprised how huge uh, the Reebok showroom is. I had no idea. Kumari Patima is the Tulo What are you having, Babu? Okay. Okay. Want a bite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was supposed to be meatballs. Oh, lady in the trap moment. I made this delicious no, salad. Okay. Super okay. filling. Filled mm. with healthy fat, protein, fiber, <clears throat> carbs. What are you having salad today? Because I've had like two bowls yesterday. <laughs> Booyah. Yeah. For some reason, he's okay with salad when it's raw. A cooked vegetable like torkari, like kaoli, iskus. There's he's, oregano he like here. There might be some parsley too. Good morning. It is Friday, May 5th. Um, Today is hit training. My split, split, like how you split the week. Yeah, I know that sounds like a, kind of stupid, but it makes sense because the seven days out of the week, what days do you want to do what? I quickly changed into my gym outfit. I got this sports bra and shorts that make my butt look good. I'm feeling so all cheese because he's a suit they suck, you know, like we have a Musa problem up in our fall ceiling. Two months ago, it just started as a play the recording. It's so creepy. It's just like Musa, like scratching the fall ceiling. I have a laser appointment as a, at 10.30, but I cancel that because uh, I have to go to this puta that my dad really wants me to go to. Cute is this sports bra. So like I I needed more high impact sports bra. It stays put. You know what I mean? Just parked the car and the hardest part going to the gym is just getting there is so true. Now that I'm here, I parked the car, got a good corner spot. I'm like so glad that I came. The weather is so beautiful. It's like 
hot hot i think this uh, your sweater lack oh my god there's a poil here i think this is older than me this is my mom's and then it was my sister's and then i stole it from my sister the sun is out it is hot i'm taking out my new headphones i'm obsessed with these headphones honestly best investment ever the sound quality oh my god like, there's nothing I, like i can hardly hear myself right now because of the because of the what is on noise cancellation <laughs> I have to get a coffee. This is usually how I start off every workout. I do a quick little dynamic stretch just to loosen up the muscles a little bit, move around, warm up the body, and then continue on the treadmill. And it feels really good to start any workout out like this. But today it was endurance training, so obviously my entire workout was just on the treadmill. And the only reason why I was so confident and got such good shots in different angles of my workout is because it was empty. Especially right now because I'm revisiting the gym. It's not like gym but it's been a long gap and I'm doing it ugly so it can be a little intimidating. I've been trying out the niacinamide serum from the brand Rallycoast. You guys know that I'm like a huge fan of their products. Yeah. So my skin is looking, I'm clearly with a little breakout. It's two something and I just did finish doing my makeup, put on my kurta, put on my earrings. My dad is so funny. He's like, oh, it's just a puja will go. Like, um, it's his great aunt ko, meaning my great great aunt ko puja, yagya bane, like I mentioned before. He's like making it seem like it's a super casual thing. My mom was like, well, there's going to be like 150 people there, eh? Like, make sure you dress up. I'm like, what? I want to dress up. I have five different tripods and a proper camera, vlogging camera, but I always just gravitate towards my phone because it's the closest, it's always charged. It's easier for me. I'm feeling a little ouchy because I'm just really tired. Like, it was hard for me to get up to go to the gym today. I think it just sleep deprivation and sleep, Boniko, is so important. I tried to explain it to, like, my mom. Anyone that's, like, older and ha doesn't know the importance of sleep, like, it can honestly affect your mental clarity, whether you lose weight or not, whether you're able to go hard on your exercises. That Musa situation is no bueno. Anyway, I'm having an espresso with um, protein powder. I'm just quickly gonna do my slick back. My hair is not that greasy, but I don't know how else to do it. Like, it's really tiny when I feel very messy. You can just see the weather outside. It's so pretty. I'm gonna do my slick back. Okay, for my slick back, number one, a fine tooth comb. Number two, Gatsby Level 7 Hair Gel. Gatsby Extra Hold Hairspray. And of course, hair dry. Hair tight. I know this Fitbit looks really bad with this outfit, but I'm truly really trying to calculate my steps and get an accurate reading. A white tooth comb. Shout out to Joy, my hairdresser. It's like the dresser that if you say, Oli Kati Matri Kartino, he listen. You know, so many times in the past, I've gone in for a haircut. They were literally cut. Yeti ka pala off, you know? I'm getting DMs in my Instagram saying, Healthy Parne, how to grow out your hair. I don't think it's so much to do with shampoos or the products that you use, Gail, but I don't think it's important to spend money on expensive shampoos and conditioner. Like, I was using this one for the longest time. Scorch Bluff? Scorch Bluff. Uh, Color Freeze by Cellar Shampoo. Um, I had this 2020 ma, three years, and Balda Asti Sakyo. Um, this is a Salon Likinne uh, bottle size, one liter, I think, yeah one liter one full liter it's not about the products that you use it's how you take care of your hair you know little part as straight as possible and then i wet it with some dara <laughs> i have a tutorial on my instagram if you guys want to see it's like this red jubby hair gel i love it so i'm just grabbing some hair gel on my hand the front of my hair like that and the top and start molding it on how i want and this hairbrush too is like from the airplane, you know, like the free stuff that you get. The best for it, honestly. Should I do half up, half down? That's kind of cute. Oh, forget it. I might just do a tight ponytail instead of doing a bun. Now what I do to make it more like polished is I'll take, I don't know if you guys can see, a small section of hair underneath the pony, like isto, and just wrap it around. You can't see the rubber band. I'm sure you guys have seen this trick everywhere, but I just like doing it because it's just that extra little step that makes it more like professionally done as opposed to karma body go. The body pin and then just clip it and do one more to be extra. Argan oil of Morocco, OG Exco brand. Been using this since like my days in New York. Take a couple of drops and just run it through my hair. It smells really good, it adds that extra shine, it makes the hair look less frizzy. Brush out your pony. For extra security, Gatsby level, what is this? Extreme hold. I picked this up in Bad Patini ages ago. 
shake it up. This smells really bad though. I don't like the smell of this. It's too perfumey. It reminds me of like old grandma. Hmm, that can't be good for you. Final steps. In toothbrush, used only for your hair. For some reason, this not only makes your kapal super chatakka, gives the illusion that it's fuller too. Like, you know, like brush lete is to the gaps or it's hard, huh? If you take the toothbrush, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And done. Okay. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that's literally two hairstyles that I know how to do. This is one of them. I feel like I'm decent at makeup, but hair, ma, not so much. <laughs> Where's the natural lighting? Okay. Pretty much the look. I am ready. I just need to put on some lip, a lip product and I'm ready. Go. Somebody's gotten so chonk that he can't reach his feet to put on his socks. These socks mine work. Why doesn't it fit you? It, it doesn't. Okay, wait. Just stick your foot up. Like push, push, push. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Bobby, if all your clothes are tight, what are you gonna do? You need all new clothes. But I'll be, I'll be cutting too. Uh huh. Looks tight. It is. Looks chonk. Ooh, booty. Ooh, booty. I've gotten so fast at doing my makeup. I get ready faster than Bibu Adskal. It's like, no, you assume that like I'll take forever. So you just yeah. sit at your desk, but then I'll be like ready and you're like, oh shit. And then you hurry up and get ready. My lip combo, I'm wearing Benetint Gold Lip Stain. And then of course, Pretty Please Go Glassy Gloss. I just saw Gilo Gloss to just top off of anything. Okay? Bibu and I are such homebodies. I can't remember the last time that I dressed up wore a kurta. He's in a button down, hey? Right? We're always like in sweatpants and t-shirts to go out. Chill vibes. It feels nice to get dressed up. The puja was short and sweet and as we were leaving, we saw these like bowls of fire. If you guys know what, what the symbol or what the meaning behind this is, please comment down below because I would love to know. Just got back home, dying to take out this ponytail because if you know, you know. You can only have this up hairstyle up for a couple of hours so the way it starts to talk with the Natalza. Ooh, where are you going? Jain Kana was so good. Like pani, roti, and saag. Oh, yeah. Oh, your hair just looks like tukka, just stays in place like a helmet. Hey, mommy. It's just time. Can no you help zipper, me take this out? No, there's no zipper. It's like, that's what I thought. Okay, wait. No. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's wash our face before we get all cheap Cause your girl has gotten only four hours of sleep and wants to sleep more before she passes out Cause tomorrow is leg day Wait, how do you only get four hours of sleep? Cellar water first oh. Using the Huxley Shh Use our cleansing water Usually, I'll use my Garnier Co, but my Garnier Co is finished And this one was sent to me as PR, so Waste not, want not What's the saying? I think especially the Tika I can only imagine how bad this is for you, especially knowing how red dye is made. If you don't know how red dye is made, Google it. Don't forget the this of your nose. What is this part called? Whatever it is between your nostrils. Just get it, okay? Don't forget it. I'm going in with my favorite first step cleanser. This is the vanilla, not vanilla, but vanilla. I'm gonna scoop about this much. Okay, so you warm it up in the palms of your hand and go all over. It's good. Share my latest hack. I forgot to do it now. I got these little um, scrunchies that feel like a towel. I put it here. Should have done it before because I like the you But I put these two scrunchies that feel, that are like towels on my wrist. And when I splash my face, I usually make a mess. Look, there's no drippage. Otherwise, Bani would be running down here. A nice little dollop. Literally no water coming down my arms. It's incredible. This, of course, is drenched. Yeah, I'm really messy when I wash my face and the water is everywhere. I don't know how Garn tolerates it. Mm, this is not the guy that I signed up to marry. So cute. I feel sexy. Bobby, what you making? Uh, salad. Um, that doesn't look like no salad. That looks like white wine. Mm, finally got some good sleep. Oh. Ooh. I slept like a baby. It is May 6th. I have a laser appointment at 10 30. I have to shave before that appointment. So let's get up. I need coffee. I'm already dressed up to go to my laser appointment. Last time I did my makeup. Sorry. Last time I did my makeup, I did like mascara and stuff and went. And did, I didn't know that you're supposed to like, they put on this mask. They put on these like eye goggles. Mascara like gets all crusty and squished like that. Oh, it was not cute. I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows. Oh, this product that I'm using right now is actually it's one of the samples that I brought in 
for pretty please and i've been using it for a month and i really like it because it's a big one you see in a couple of seconds i got the fluffy brow that i want oh my god it's my mom's birthday month today so many birthdays today i have my cousin's birthday i have my sano mama's birthday if you guys are ever considering to get laser done i can do a full in-depth video first session dekine i see very little uh, hair growth thicker and darker the hair is so like your coochie your armpits the laser is going to work more effectively this is another little sample that i've been working with it's a liquid brush i'm so excited to launch cream blush it's one of my favorite makeup products i feel so much put together when i have blush and my brows done okay a little fit check I'm wearing my skin's bra with these pants from zara super comfy and loungy are they a little see-through i think they're a little see-through but oh well and this um zip up hoodie um h&m decided to walk to anova to get my steps in and it's such a nice sunny day this is only my second session with anova skin clinic the staff there are super sweet and very professional they start off with shaving the area and then beeping your face away Bebu just ordered a burger, his favorite burger from um, workshop. I'm not in the mood to eat Baira Kokana, so I made... I looked up a recipe that I've been seeing all over my Instagram. And this is high in protein, blended oats. I really hope it tastes good because this is my dinner. Cake is missing some razzle-dazzle. Put the cake... Oh, that was not aesthetic at all. I lied that oats wasn't the only dinner. Um, saw some leftover spaghetti in the fridge. So I made ali olio. Ali olio. Alio Leo. I love plain pasta like this. It's so good. Our Saturday night, guys. It's the best. You happy with the order? With my salad, yeah. <laughs> DV school. Such, such a nice way to wake up in the morning. ridiculously loud anyway it is sunday morning i missed the gym yesterday because i had the laser appointment so i'm going to be doing legs today acne breakout i think the body wash that i'm using a dove Co cucumber something body wash is making me break out so i need to stop using it i'm gonna see if it does anything for my skin i'm really not feeling it today though in terms of energy i'm just probably gonna do another shot of coffee just to up a little bit let's get this day started even if i'm feeling really ultra and i really just want to stay home and watch a movie it's all about making a habit even if i'm gonna go there and do nothing but walk on the treadmill it's about creating habit to get your ass to the gym <laughs> Okay, you know what? I thought I'd be able to listen to one nice song on the radio. I hope if the cop sees me, I'm not gonna get pulled over for vlogging while driving. I actually have a tripod specifically made for Guide Eco glass or any glass, any surface for that matter. But of course, I'm being ulchi and not using that. Whoop! That's why I'm dealing with that. The parking lot is empty. Got a corner parking spot with no sunlight, which is amazing. I'm slowly starting to understand why women love leg day. You feel so powerful, you feel so strong. It's crazy. I love it, look at my face, I look like the man. This is sucked in, this is relaxed. Super bloated this morning. Very glad to see you. I'm back home from the gym. I didn't even get to shower, I know that's gross. Put oil in my hair today, Bianca and I. Thinking gym but I want to get on the go. But Bunny wants to go to New Road to look at some saris. We're planning to go to Bisha Bazaar. And since I got laser done yesterday, I'm literally wearing three layers of sunscreen. Bally Close go 30 SPF and Sun Blake 50 SPF. I don't want to take any chances of premature aging and sunburn. I just threw on this outfit. I guess I'm going to have to shower after coming back from New Road. And I'm not going to go out like this because... Obviously, my entire body was lasered. It's super, super sensitive to sun damage right now. I will be wearing something over my shoulders. Where's my important ring? There we go. Ready, Freddy. I think I should get the award for the Alchius vlogger because if you guys saw the way I'm putting up my phone, you guys would laugh. It's on my <laughs> Fenty loose powder kodabba. What's crazy? New Road Nagaku, like, it's been forever. The last time I went for was obviously Afne Biak wedding. But honestly, New Road is like so chaotic, so hectic. It's really exciting to start dropping and stuff for Shivy's beer. I can't believe my little sister is getting married. Tension for another day, but it like, really freaks me out. It's my baby sister. You know what I'm saying? Makeup na lo ni and I'm here 
putting on makeup okay but i just gotta look a little presentable as a bunny somebody saw me at the gym um she said hi and it was super sweet and said hi but like i was like as red as a tomato sweating bullets and i'm like oh, oh, i probably scared the crap out of her god i am so freaking red i haven't been this red after a workout in forever you guys might be thinking oh my god this girl always works out and stuff like that like please do not let my video fool you i'm literally starting to work out after ages i like i said i six months boy since the Biane, I haven't worked out. Honestly, you guys vlogging YouTube makes me motivated because, you know, I want to be the best version of myself on here. I just dropped my 50-year-old Wet n Wild highlighter. Broken ages ago. Bajiko, nothing's, nothing's wrong with it. $5 back then. My Charlotte Tilbury blush that I thought, ooh, I want to buy something from Charlotte because everyone on the internet talks about her. Kip when you got it, drop when you got it, look at this. Look at this. And this is like a $50 blush waste of money i'm not a huge huge stand for drugstore makeup it's just as good if not sometimes better i said what i said and i meant what i said never been such a breakfast person but oh my god breakfast is delicious i'm having these rice rice cakes with cream cheese and apricot jam that mom made mm. and my sister-in-law literally got dominoes from india and babu's having pizza for breakfast me too like actually good okay kalpana's pizza or dominoes pizza uh, need a piano bee. Just had my first bite of Domino's pizza after ages. Kalpana's pizza. Any day. Dad make these pickled um, cucumbers. So freaking good. Babe will finish the entire bottle. Vinegar. Mmm. You know, when I was in the States, I was a huge fan of pickles. Pickles on my burger, pickles with my fries, pickles with the thing. And I think I overdid it mm -hmm. to a point when a burger had a, you know, McDonald's Machiano. Pickles, they put like three. Super thin. I almost used to gag. First headed to Mahala's a store in Bishal Bazaar. I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. They have a pretty good selection of sarees. I kind of like this one, but I ended up not getting it. Then we headed over to Chanta Chokri, which is apparently like an OG place. It's been around forever. I was getting mad at Mamu for not bringing me here during my Byaku time because I would have loved to see this kind of selection. Shivi's just trying on a bunch of beautiful red sarees. Me, of course, with my neutrals. They put on this funky little safety belt <laughs> and I really like this gray sari and I end actually ended up getting it. Finished with my family meeting at home. Now I'm at On the Grill. It's Korean barbecue because we're craving it. It's a cute little spot. We got complimentary egg souffle with the Korean pancakes. Delish. Just made these protein balls. This was kind of a busy day. We're just going over some samples and finalizing a logo design for our new product that's launching very soon. Can't tell you guys much right now, but when I do launch, I'm super, super excited to get you guys' feedback. Dark Kit Kat is elite. Okay, weird timing. It's almost 7.30. Okay, today was endurance day. I really want to go to the gym and just do my 12, 3.30 workout just so I can feel like I get, I got something done today. When I think about it, it's just 30 minutes. I can watch YouTube videos, I can listen to music, call somebody. Usually when I talk to somebody on the phone, it goes by really fast. Weird, never been to the gym Rati. I made her dad go Georgetown cap. I stole from him, just random tank top. And I'm wearing leggings today instead of shorts. I included a lot of clips of me going to the gym because this week, honestly, I was just trying to prove myself that I can go six days a week without making any excuses or slacking off. And I actually did it and I'm so proud of myself. I know that it's been a very long gap since I last posted. I'm sorry that I'm so flaky and I never post on time, but I love you guys for keeping up with me. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.